I'm glad tonight that he's mindful of us. Mindful of you, mindful of this church. I've been, been had a desire to get here all week long. Couldn't wait for tonight. We'll be able to come. Preach, preach somewhere Tuesday night. Lord, help us to be somewhere. Monday night had school, class, whatever. And last night had to work until real late. And uh, so I'm glad that I, by the help of, by, by His grace, I was able to be here tonight to be able to be with with His precious people. Well, thank I, I can tell you for sure, I love everybody and I, I love God's people. This, 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 people. God's people are special in my heart, and there's something about them. I, I love well and with them. I thought how tonight sometimes you may feel alone. And I'm glad on this journey, Sister Angie, we ain't alone. <laughs> Brother Doug, no matter how lonely we may feel, uh, the Lord ain't never left His people. And His people are a bag of people. Uh, seem like, you know, the weapons of our warfare in the Bible said ain't carnal, but they're mighty through God. We're in a warfare against the enemy who, know, who, who has a desire to kill, steal, and destroy. Yes. But I'm glad that there's everlasting life in Him. Yeah. And uh, I'm not, you know, I don't, I don't believe in the false pretense kind of thing. Get up and be something you're not. I don't have one bit of shame really in telling you. A lot of times when I get behind that pulpit, when I first get behind there, Brother Norman, I can't even look up due to the nervousness I feel. But when that good Spirit of God begins to come by, uh, it, it, it gives us what we need to do the work. I'm glad of that, ain't you? I thought tonight I'd like to go to the book of James. Epistle to James, chapter number 5, verse number 13. He said like this, Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any married? Let him sing songs. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. And let them pray over him. Yes. Anoint him with the oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. And the Lord shall raise him up. And if he hath committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another, and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Amen. Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit. I appreciate you for reading along. You may go somewhere else with the help of God. But I thought that scripture was on my heart tonight. And I, I thought how that uh, Brother Jerry were in a time that uh, the enemy, like I said a while ago, was pressing God's people. Uh, I was talking to them all going up the road. Seemed like the devil tries to tell you sometimes, Brother Zach, that you can't win the loss. It's too hard to reach them. I thought Tuesday night the Lord, the Lord moved on me. As sure as I'm standing here, I believe the Lord, the Holy Ghost, moved on me to go up to Smith and have a service up there. And it seemed like people's hearts are just so hard to reach. Uh, we had a service outside there. We've had them before. And I thought how that uh, I felt like the Lord was trying to reach out. It seemed like people just so... Uh, it seemed like the Bible said that sin would abound because the love of many would wax cold. It seemed like, Sister Sandy, we're in that time that that's happening. There is an enemy on the loose. I thought how Jesus said it like this. He said, I'll be held as Michael the archangel cast Satan out of heaven as lightning. He came down to this earth and then he warned us like this. He said, woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Amen. Because this man has come with great wrath. He's come with great wrath. And I, I thought, how about Brother Doug? He's out to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said it like this, I come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. I thought tonight, I, I believe with my heart that there's a God that can still hear people when they pray. I believe that there's still hope, amen, for a move of God in the land of the living. I thought David, David said something around the lines of, I would have fainted had I not believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that we can still, Sister Lou, see the goodness of God right down here in the land of the living. If I had hope in Christ Jesus in this life only, I'd be of all men most miserable. I thought how the Lord began to deal with me. I've been like this while that Brother Michael had that we're down in the last days. We're getting down into a time that's perilous, to a time that's dangerous, to a time, amen, that people just ain't concerned. You look throughout the church world today, people is not concerned. You can see it right in the house of God. You can see it on sinners. They're not concerned for their soul. Even preachers ain't concerned for the souls of people sitting 
to our passions as you and I are. He was just a man. He was flesh and blood. Amen. He was born into this carnal nature. Amen. He was just a man subject to our passions as I am. He felt pain. He felt discouragement. There were times he ran high and times he fell low. I can read it right in the Word of God to you. Amen. But you know what? Amen. The Bible said these words. The effectual favor and prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And that God that He may move for Him is able to move for you and I. I wanted to tell somebody tonight that same God that Elijah served is mindful of you. You may say, no, preacher, I want you to know right where you said that same God is mindful of where you're at and He's able to help you if we'll let Him help us. Amen. Praise the Lord. I thought tonight I believe the Lord has dealt with me to come His way and preach this. There is a God hear you when you pray. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. That man was just a man like me. That man was just a man like you. He was a man of the flesh. He was born into he was born in this world just like you and I was. He put his shoes on the same way that we put our shoes on. But when he prayed, God answered. Brother Jesse Kinder, I believe that same God is mindful of you and I. I said right here tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I thank God that he's able to reach down and touch whoever's here. I don't care if you need healed. He's able to heal you. If you need saved, he's able to save you. I don't know what you need, but God is able to meet that need down to Him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above what we can even think or ask. There's power in man. Power in Him. He can be rich. I thought one of the greatest things that the devil is moving in the church world today and moving in the land is this oppression of the enemy. And I began to pray a while back. I felt the Lord begin to talk to me. You, you, you know, pray and you go pray and the Lord will talk to you. Sure. Go to that mountain and pray. You go to your closet and pray. And there's a God that will hear you when you pray. Hey, right. Sister Lucy, I went and I prayed. And I thought how I begin to pray for, for people. I begin to pray. And the Lord begin to open up new scriptures to me about how Paul said, We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual weakness in high places. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Against power and against principalities. That's what it said. Now I begin to think about all this that's working in the land. I, I, I try to be real careful sometimes what I say. I don't want to bother nobody make nobody mad. But I thought, Brother Jerry, we're in a time that maybe, you know, somebody battling depression or battling with anxiety or something like that. They'll take him to a doctor. And that doctor studied and he's put his money and his life into figuring that out. And I'm not preaching nothing against them. But they'll put a label on it. They'll put some kind of sickness on it. They'll put a name on it. They'll say, this is depression or this is anxiety. Here's some medicine to help you. But I want you to know that's the spirit of the devil. That is that depression, that's nothing but a spirit of the devil. That's the devil talking to people. Hey Amen. It ain't God's will for you to be bound. The Bible said there is therefore now no condemnation to be no better in Christ Jesus. Who is He that justified? It is God. Who is He that can give it? It is Jesus. Hey Amen. I thank God today. Hey Amen. That He is our helper. He'll be your help if you'll let him. There's too much bondage. Well, I, felt like, I just feel like preaching this way. There's bondage on, on many people, even on some pe other people of God. There's a bondage, and it ain't God's will for you to be that way. You come to church, you can feel the press in the house of God a lot of times. And I'll tell you right where I stand right now, right where I'm standing, flat footed right here. And I'll tell you, I'm as free as a song. You may say, why? Because I've been walking with God. There's no condemnation here. I ain't got nothing hanging on me. I ain't got nothing in my life that can keep that from moving on me. And there ain't no bondage. Maybe this should be on God's people. I'm free in Him. Are you free indeed? He that the Son set free is free indeed. It ain't God's will for you to set in His house and be bound. And there's people here tonight that but ain't you glad you can go free? There's life in that man named Jesus. 
God's convinced us that God can't move. That God can't move no more. That God can't move among His people. And I, t- I tell them like this, and I know that it seems like a big, you know, tell this everywhere I go. To those of you that, you know, go, go to the home church, and those of you that maybe been where I've been preaching here lately, hey man, I thought, hey, you probably heard me tell this, but if you're around me probably 30 or 40 years from now, and the Lord ain't come back now and then, I'll still be telling this. When Papa was dying of Crohn's disease, I know a lot of people probably thinking, here he goes. Tell it again, and I'll tell it again. Yeah. There was a little pharmacist by the name of Brother Teddy Pace. Yeah. With nothing great, with nothing big. Yeah. But he got washed in the blood of Jesus. Yeah. And got his name on the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. Yeah. He was sanctified yeah. and prayed for the baptism yeah. of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And my papa was dying of Crohn's disease. Yeah. And God spoke to him and said, You fast three days yeah. for Brother Lamb. He went home that night and moved his head and washed his face yeah. three nights later he come into my living room yeah. with an empty belly and a dry lips but when he took that all and anointed my great father and his head went down and began to weep God healed that man God is still moving he has not changed and he will never change you may change this world may change but God No rain. 
And I thought, hell, you know what that'll do. That brings death with it. And I thought, hell, that then there was no rain in the land of Egypt. Or in that land of Israel. Seemed like the famine was great and killed out the crops. They wouldn't able they wouldn't to feed their cattle. They wouldn't able they wouldn't to grow their harvest. Amen. Seemed like a bad time in that land and during that day. Amen. But I thought, hell, that I want to tell you the Bible said that in the last days there would come a famine for a lack of hearing of the Word of God. There's a famine in the land, Brother Jesse. People's going to and fro trying to find the Word from the Lord. They seem like they can find it because there's a famine in this land. You know what we need? I've been preaching this everywhere we go. So please don't think I'm just throwing this at everybody here. I'm not just, I've been preaching this just about everywhere we go. Amen. But we must have a move of God's Spirit. Say what you want. But we've sat in the house of God too long without a move of His Spirit. You may say, I feel it. We need a move in the house of God. Praise the Lord. I found him on the mountain today. But he's able to move here at ages tonight. We need that rain. There's life in the Spirit. With His Spirit, there is life. There's amen. People that's died in the house of God. And we need that rain. seeking God and pleasing God. I can preach to the wall. I don't have to have you running and jumping with me. But I tell you, I can preach to that wall. I know that we need a move of the Spirit. These people sat too long without a move of the Spirit. We need a Spirit. All the jealousy and the malice and the backbitings and the Indians and the murders would not be among our people if we was getting in the Spirit of God. But when we lack to get in the Spirit, the Bible said a tongue of mine is not subject to the law of God, and neither indeed can be. But when you get in the Spirit, come on, amen. When you get in the Spirit, there's life in that Spirit. When we can get Him to come down and move among us, Life in it. So people said, Preacher, I, I can't get over that feeling I got. I can't get over what this one done to me, what that one done to me. You get in the spirit, I promise you. Somewhere, Brother Jesse, that that will leave. That will leave. I thought hell right here is a special place to me. Right here, right here at this spot. You must say, why? Because you're preaching there right now. No. No. But I thought last year homecoming day here. Yeah. I, I know. And I thought how that homecoming day here was hard. Seemed like we pressed all service long. I was thinking, should we stay and eat or go to Mexico? What are we going to do after the preach? I'm just being honest hearted with you. We better be honest hearted. It was hard. Seemed like there was 300 people here, so to speak. Not, you know, I'm not saying for sure, but there's such a press, and you have me when you get so many people in the house, and you know how it is. I'm not being mean, but talking and gathering and visiting, going on. Can you, can you hear the preacher sometime for all that going on in the house of God? Amen. And I thought how that lady really sat there, and I thought, well, Amen. Wonder what, wonder what's wrong. But all of a sudden, Amen. They begin to sing the song. He can, he can. They begin to sing that song. And I thought how that all of a sudden there was something where Brother Floyd said that I'm standing there, I guess. Something brought me out of that corner. I felt it get right down in my life. Felt it get right down in my hands. I thought how when I got up behind this pulpit, I tried to hold myself up. Amen, Brother Jesse. When I laid my head over on you and the Lord laid us shout together, I counted that a special thing. I sure did. I thought how the Lord. Amen. I tried to hold on to this pulpit. And see if I can stand up. But before I knew it, I was laid back in the floor. And then Hagen said, Charlie, did you see what was on top, over top of you? They said, on that snake over top of you, did you see it? No, 
heard him shake his hand. It is. It is. The church world today has settled for less. The church world today has settled for less. Because of that, it's causing the sinner folk to settle for less. I want you to know there's a power of God that can help you with whatever you're wearing. No lie. Right. 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 Hey, man, I thought about that mother of mine, the shape she's in. Last time about 12 o'clock, she called me. I hadn't heard from her and seemed like a long time. She called me, but I don't know what's all going on. So she texted me, didn't have enough Wi Fi to, to answer her call. She didn't, I don't guess. And so I called her, I texted her. She said, I need to come over tonight. She come over. Hey, man, we gave her a place to sleep. I come back from work. You know where she's at? She's gone. She's gone. Hey, man, you know why she's bound? She's bound by that devil. And I give up hoping, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know like I said, them people go to college and learn how to do a lot of things. But I don't believe counselors can help her. I don't believe the rehab can help her. My hope is in Jesus. I told him over a year ago, Lord, I'm putting her in your hand and I'm leaving her there. And do whatever you have to do. My people need to live her. Your people need to live her. What's going to deliver them? We need to move by the Spirit. We sat too long. But I, well, Lord, we sat too long without a move by the Spirit. You can rise up and eat and drink with that Spirit. Oh, 
The Lord put the scripture on my heart. But how he told Ahab, he said, Rise up and eat and drink. You know what that tells me? Brother Michael, you know what that tells me, Brother Bill? He was sent down. And apparently, he must have been hungry and thirsty. Because Elijah said, Rise up. It's time for you to get up. It's time for you to eat and drink. Why? Because I hear rain coming. In other words, you sit there too long. You sit there dying. Get up. Get up. You know what? We're getting down in the last days. And I believe the enemy knows, Brother Jesse, he's but a short timer. And I believe he's full of wrath, Brother Brandon. And he wants to try to fight against you and me. You know what he's trying to do to me? You know what he's trying to do to every one of you? He wants to set you right down. You mean about like you? Well, yeah and no. In your whole experience with God, He wants to set you right there. He wants to set the preacher down and cause him to close that Bible and not preach. He wants to set the singer down and cause him to turn that microphone off and quit singing. I want you to know that ain't God's will. He wants you to rise up. And I know that the Lord's called me to preach in a bad time. In the last day, there was dangerous times, I know. Hey Amen. It seemed like you can feel that darkness in the land. But I'm still going to sing that same song you sing right there. I hear the sound of an abundance of rain. You ever been in church service and all of a sudden you begin to hear that coming from way off? You begin to hear it coming? Have you ever been on the mountain praying? Just you and God? And all of a sudden you can hear that sound? Amen. We need that rain in the house of God. I'm about to go with that. I'm about to finish. I'll give over to the brothers. I'm not going to say I'm sorry for getting in your way because I didn't. The Lord will know me. I don't have to say that. And I tell you with all my heart, God wants to move among His people. I believe it's a night where I'm among all His people. I believe that right now. I'm among praying people. You know what? It's, I'm not talking about Friday night. And no doubt last night you had probably a wonderful service. But that's gone. It's in the books now. Now, if Friday night ain't here, and you, something may hinder you from being over here, I don't know. But right here tonight, October 17th, right here tonight, Thursday night of this homecoming revival, God wants to move right here in this place. I'm living with all my heart. Right. There's people right here I know needs God's help. Sure. More than one, more than two, more than three, more than four needs God's hand to move on. Yeah. Yeah. He can do it, Brother Jesse. Yeah. I love what it said. How they brought the sick to him and he healed them all. Yeah. He, he didn't send nobody away. Yeah. Hey, but he, even that man in the book of Mark chapter 9 that said, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. He still done what that man needed done. Why? Yes, he had unbelief in there, but that little bit of faith that he had overpowered all that unbelief. And he got the word done. Is there anything left in you? Can you stir up anything in you? The Bible says, stir up your pure mind by the way of remembrance. Remember anything to stir up in your heart. If you can find anything, stir it right up. Stir it right up. I still believe he's moving. Now over there across the railroad tracks, they had their homecoming. Yeah. They asked me to preach four nights of it. We preached four nights of it. And the Holy Ghost moved. Yeah. He sure did. Yeah. Brother Norman, he moved great. Yeah. One night, Sister Beth came. I don't, I don't see Sister Brenda Kelly. Sister Brenda Kelly came. Yeah. Sister Brenda Rigney came. And Sister Gail came. They all came to get it. Yeah. And, they, and Jennifer, I believe, was there. Sister Gershke. And maybe others was there. And there was a brother there. I don't know everything about the way he believes. There was a brother there, and he needed God's help. He needed God's help. And I thought how I could preach about what God can do. And I felt to grab that bottle of oil. I didn't know. I know he had something big swelling up on the side of his neck. I knew he, I thought he was facing surgery, but he, by faith he called that morning. I didn't know. And he canceled the surgery. Said he didn't want it. He could have took him out of here what that was. But I thought how he called and said, we don't want it. Just cancel it. And I thought how we begin to pray. How we begin to holler at her. How grandmother and I begin to speak in unknown tongues. And I'm telling you, 
I, don't, I, I believe that everybody is the same in the eyes of God. He has no respect of person. Uh, I'm telling you, that man all night I come for dinner. Yeah. I live with her, I come for dinner. I, yeah. I woke up to her speaking in them tongues before I learned to trust that that moves on. Yeah. And I begin to think about what Brother Terry Baker says. When I'm praying in the prayer line, I call it prayer line. But when we're up here praying at the pulpit for sick folks, and he said, I hear somebody speak in tongues. He says, I back away. He says, I quit praying because the Holy Ghost started praying for them. And that's all they need. I thought, how do you to thank Lord the Holy Ghost? He's a praying for that man. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sister you sisters, you all know how to pray. One thing about that woman right there, she knows how to pray. Yeah. Amen. Sister Sandy right there knows how to pray. Yeah. Mamma knows how to pray. Yeah. If I needed somebody to help push me through, I know who to go to. Thanks, yeah. Pat. Stop me. 
I love to preach, shout till he shouts my shoes <coughs> off, love to roll the floor. But we need to move with the Spirit. We need, there's people that need to live. There's people needing help from God right now. He's here to help you. He's here to help you. You know what? And I love singing. I love getting in. I love all them things. But when that word right there is preached, they slide in that word. Yeah. Not when Charlie Davis is standing behind there or Jerry Collins or Jesse King. But they slide in that word. That word of God has life in it. I want you to know if you begin to get in that word, it'll begin to move on you. He said he was seeking those to worship him. They would worship him in the spirit and the truth. The spirit inspired the truth. You can't have the truth without the spirit, and you can't have the spirit without the truth. We need that work upon our people. I, I appreciate you for letting me preach. I'll give it over to you. Fine job. Good work, God. Give us a song, children. We want to be all and let you pray. We want you to mind the Lord most of all. Yeah. Whatever God needs you to do, we need to do. The song is always open. Thank you, good Savior. I thought about, uh, come on. Brother Gantry, when he's preaching, I thought, that, hey, hey, preachers need to move with the Spirit. And I thought, uh, we in the town, it's a uh, dry town, yes, sir. It's a uh, thing you can't tell nobody about what you go through with. But the main important thing. Keep calling his name. Yes. Yes. Keep calling his name. No oh, matter yes. how down you get, how dry you get, keep calling his name. Yes. Oh, sooner or later. Uh, he'll be my Lord. He'll be my Lord. Yes. Sooner or later, he'll be my Lord. Yes. 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 You listen to this, y'all. And I thought, uh, I heard something in holler. I wonder, what is that? And I'd walk a little bit, and I'd hear that thing. You'd squeal out. And finally, last I looked down, yeah. there was a snake laying there, a swallowing a, a frog. And he'd had that little frog almost. All he had is his head sticking out of his legs. But he was hollering. Yeah. He was in trouble. Yeah. And I tell our people, keep hollering. Yeah. Keep hollering. And I looked down and I released the little frog out and he had hurt his, his, uh, one of his legs. But I thought when I released him out of that snake and got him loose, I hear him holler again. And I thought, if my mind went back, if that little frog, he probably should thank me yeah. for releasing yeah. him. Yeah. And I thought, I thank the Lord every time he's released me.
tonight I feel delivered. Right. Now you hear what I say. Right. Still 
saved him. Still loves. He loves the backslider. He's married to the backslider. Come on now, children. Where are we at? We can't give up on our people. We still got to pray. I don't care what kind of shape they get in. Prayer will change things. It is 
is not in vain. I want to tell us tonight, this is not in vain. A lot of times you come out here and you wonder a lot of times, why am I here? You ever wonder that? How many ever wonder that? Why am I here? It's a whole lot. It's a whole lot. I feel something tonight. I want to get in this building. Yes. I, I feel it getting on me right now. Have you been a good soldier? Have you been a good soldier? Children, have you been a good soldier? Have you been a good soldier? I'm just going to ask you a question. You just well behave, Mimi. I'm on the floor. The Lord is giving you the And she prayed for her family. 
And again, we were listening to him. Come on, brother. She lost her brother. She got in an awful shape. I'm telling you about the Holy Ghost, what the Holy Ghost is doing. Not what me and you can do, but what the Holy Ghost is doing. He means something to be a good soldier. I, I know I'm taking up the time, George. I know I'm taking the time. I know. But it means something to be a soldier for God. That when you hold it, he'll answer. Right. Right. I got tore up when he, when he got rolled up. I was close to him. She got in an office shape. She, you don't care me tell this to you. She got in an office shape. Yeah, really and the Holy Ghost moved on me at one night at came. Yeah, and that day, she <coughs> went to church somewhere. She got in an office shape. Yeah, they were well, but it was very slow. She didn't run out, maybe. She had to leave church. She got in shape. Wiley said she wouldn't take care of the house. She got in an office shape. Now listen. The shape that you can get in, yeah. you cannot help yourself. But it means something to be that soldier. Yeah. For God to go on and pray anyway. Yeah. She went on and prayed anyway. And that night, nobody know this but me and the Lord. <laughs> I'm the preacher. Yeah, Boy, I could feel it. I could hear that word. Yeah. Nobody know it, Luke. What was moving on me? The Holy Ghost to speak to that sister. Well, brother, yeah. brother Gil, yeah. they had a box there. I went and sat down when I went through preaching. And this moved on me that twice. Brother William Epper's wife was there. Nobody knows this but me and the Lord. Willie's wife hit that floor. She got <laughs> and she pointed her finger in my face. And she prophesied to me. And she said, you be willing to speak these words. Yeah. And I'll give you right. She said, he's to break the yoke of mine. Yeah. Come on, the Lord, Lord, one more time. Yeah. Yeah. Just one more time. Yeah. Just give me one more time. One more time. And I'll do it. The Lord, I'll help him. said, go get that copperhead out. Come on, brother. I pulled that box out. I pulled that copperhead out. I went over I hear the Lord said, go back, put it back up. I was going back, Warley took it. Took it right. I hear that word. Guess what it said? He said, worry not about this woman. He said, I hear you when you pray. Come on, brother. Now, boy, the Holy Ghost. Amen, brother. She don't have to worry no more. Boy, I get that feeling picking me up. Come on, brother. God bless you. Come on, boy. Come on, are you the soldier? If you one time was. I'm going to ask you a question. Are you the soldier? I believe you are. <laughs> Little sister, I believe you are. I've known you all this year. I've known some of you all this year. I'm still the soldier. Someday, you will know. That's the book right there.
dreams grow up over y'all. It lies in me and you. Right. How many like to take this ball? So about this and that you do out the house. And in the morning, when you wake up, just get a little bit on your face. And you know your head. And wash your face. And tell nobody about it. And go on. This will show on you. You hear what I said? This will show on you. I've been trying to get a little bit closer. I'm trying to get back. Come on, what are you talking about? He preached about the spirit. Getting up in. How many would like to just get that all in the morning? And go to the head. Is this all right? I'm going to tell you how you get it. Come on, preacher. I'm going to tell you how you get it. Not in your head. You hardly ever hear a preacher preach on fasting. How many know what I'm talking about? When you spit, you can't hardly get it out of your mouth. Yeah. 
I'm not the judge. You're not the judge. But they a man shut behind the plate. Yes, judge us all. Knows everything. If he'd left up to me, I'd put you in. Yes. He left up to me. But me and Jesse just got the priest word. Charlie, Zach, every preacher in here doesn't you know you ought to preach the word. Right. We can't make you do nothing. I'm glad Charlie preached. Yes. And I'm glad that I got up. Yes. Where are you going tonight, Jerry? If that don't catch me walking in the bed, I'm going back to the barn. Thank you, good Savior. God bless you, Lord. Boy, they'll, they'll want it of God. They'll real tell you one thing. Yes. If you'll see it. Right. I tell you exactly what to do. Right. Let me believe you. Know it. Know it. Jesse, yeah. I'm looking for the Lord to move on me one more time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. One more time. Right. Moved on me over at Kaywood for a good while back. They got this snake out. The Lord spoke to me. He said, when they put it back in, you get it out. Yeah. They come and I think they put it on my head. I wasn't touching it. I said, they put it in my shirt pocket. I wasn't touching it. All right, brother. They come and reached it to me. And I looked at it. In my mind, will you hurry and put that thing in that pocket? Because I want to get it out. Because the Lord done it. Struck in my heart and told me what to do. Oh, and when I seen Kenny start toward that box, and when that box door hit, it was Jerry's turn to hit. Right. I know that if I do be alright. But if I went before then, I got in trouble. I've been in trouble. I know I've learned from my experience. But I know everything's going to be alright. I'm going to tell you tonight, everything's going to be all right if you keep on going and praying. Yeah. We've got something to look forward to, children. Hey, this church, you've got something to look forward to. Right. You've got somebody to meet. Yeah. Hey, Philippa, you're going to have to be a soldier here, just like they was when they were here. Right, brother. <laughs> right, brother. Right there at the pastor. Yeah. I'm not a bit of shame. I don't stutter when I say it. Right. The pastor. Yes. Right. Yes. 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 right here's the pastor yes. of Kaywood Church. Yes. Right. Yes. 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 I've been there about, I guess, close to 29 years. Mm -hmm. See these white hair? See this bald head? I've seen them come and go. Yes. Yes. But I loved them when they went. Yes. And I loved them when they come back. Yes. 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 The enemy was trying to put something in there. I said, don't want it. Yes. Right. Got to pray it out there. Yes. Don't want it. Yes. Oh, will it be something? When I get up there, yeah. here comes old Brother Wayne Shaw. Yeah. <laughs> here comes Denver Shaw. Yeah. Here they come. Yeah. Ain't you glad yes. that you're a soldier? <laughs> Ain't you glad that you talk to these young ones like you did? Yes. An example to them. Yes. Ain't you glad you showed them a good life? Yeah. I believe you have. Yeah. Show them a good life. Yeah. Luke showed you a good life. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Showed him a good life. Yeah. Right. Raised his boy right. in hope. Yeah. Yeah. Right, brother. Oh, How many glad you're here? Yeah. 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 What about the wife? Chuck her head up. Honey, get in and fight you again. Yeah. 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 Before he shuts the door. Yeah. But when he shuts that door, yeah. there's no man can open it. Yeah. I can't help you, nobody can help it. The day is the day of salvation. 
If you hear his voice, hold it not your heart. If you hear his knocking on your heart, you hear it, you think you can get a little closer? What about you? I might talk to you my last time. I talked to a boy one time. Will you sing the song that you sang at Papa's funeral? I said, let me go get the guitar. And he sat down on the steps. I sung him his last song. Yeah. You hear what I said? I sung him his last song. Oh, and I felt the man or the friend, but he did not. He said, I'll never do what my brother done. But what he said, he wouldn't do, that's what he done. Went to the barn one night to pray. Looked and seen the man swaying in his arm, going towards the house. Fast as he could go. You remember him, Lord? Fast as he could go. I went to the barn and began to pray. How we pray sometimes we open our eyes. I open my eyes and see blue lights. He <coughs> on the I said, what's wrong? I got it. Looked up on the hill. They were blue lights. Animals are so far. I wonder what's wrong? What's wrong? He went to the judge. Or me and you gonna go. Barb, I'm gonna tell you. No matter how dark it gets. He said his mother, come home. When last night? No now, your heart, little hippie. But you look up. You look up. He won't forget his Right. He won't get Forget these prayers. <coughs> you look up, son, you keep on preaching that word. Right. Right. I believe she will. Say what you want. I believe that girl will pray to show her my name. I believe she will. I believe she will. Right. Keep on a praying and going to the altar. No matter when you get down there, it's rough and you feel like it's a fountain of it. Can I tell you one more thing? Yeah. I remember I went through a trial. Like one I don't guess I ever went through. And I hope I don't ever have to go through it again, but I sure will. Ron, I kept praying. I did not. I got my office shape, but I still went to church. I went to church that morning. Brother Bates was there. I did not know how to search a service. You ever been there? You don't know what to do. Just sometimes, just stand. And I said, Lord, be a pastor of church. I said, I don't know how to start these people. I hear a voice. I said, let Brother Bates. I said, Brother Bates start service. He just started to like nobody did. I couldn't wait to get to the house to get back in the bed. You know when you get up for they like to come to this Easter Sunday meeting. Hey, you feel, you know? Yeah. Now, all on my mind when I left church, get in that bed. And look, guess what? I undressed, crawled under that cover, throw it up, and I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, put your clothes on, go to the barn and pray a certain time. I said, oh, goodness. Out of that bed I come, put my clothes on. I went down. And when I was a praying, I could about feel the words, Andy, come off of the wall and hit me right back in the mouth. And I was praying anyway. They would come and hit me right in my mouth. The same old words. But I stayed there the time the Lord told me. He did it. When I got up, I went to the house, I went to bed. I went to sleep. I come out that Sunday night, Lee Cardell was there. Brother Bates was there, they had a rattlesnake, and that thing looked that big around. And I told him, I said, you all kill that thing out, I'll eat it. That's what I told him. I've eaten them before. They good. I told him, I said, what I told him. He was standing there, I was holding it, still on the track. Brother Bates, he reached in. 
<coughs> How many people know big? They got it directly after they failed to cry. Believe it. All right. I felt that hit me in the top of the head. And it come down and hit me my my body. I lived. He said, go ahead. I read you got that big paper. I hooked him up in my arm. Come on, children, you'll keep on keeping on. But you can't shout all the time. Then when you get into trouble, run to the house and stay there. That's true. Anybody can hear me real clear tonight. You can't do that. You've got to be a soldier and go on for the Lord and keep on coming. Right. Remember. Right. Now there's a soldier. How many would to be a good soldier? Yeah. 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 I'm glad I got up and said, Charlie got up. I'm glad I'm back in ages. Yeah. Yeah. Lord's will, I'll be back. Yeah. Yeah. Sometime I'll be back. If I don't die, I'll be back. All right. If I die, I'll be back. Meet me on the other side. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.